Namaste, seekers of wisdom. Welcome to the monastery, where tales of transformation await. In today's tale, we'll explore the story of Lai Wei, a troubled farmer, and the teachings of the Zen master. Discover the five golden rules of a good relationship and witness how they can bring harmony and growth to your own life. So, dear seekers, if you love these short, life-changing lessons, don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button. It makes a huge difference for us. Let's begin. Once upon a time, in a village nestled among the majestic mountains, there lived a man named Li Wei. Ai Wei was a farmer who worked hard in the fields, but his heart felt heavy with worry and discontent. He often found himself feeling disconnected from the people around him, unable to find peace in his relationships. One day, as Li Wei was tending to his crops, he heard whispers about a wise and kind Zen master who lived in a monastery on the outskirts of the village. Curiosity sparked within Li Wei, and he couldn't resist the pull to seek guidance from the Zen master. With an open heart and a troubled mind, Li Wei made his way to the monastery. As he entered, he was greeted by the peaceful surroundings in the presence of the Zen master, a gentle old man with a long white beard and eyes that shone with wisdom. Sit, my child the Zen master said, gesturing to a cushion on the floor. Lai Wei obediently sat down, eager to pour out his worries and seek guidance. The Zen master listened attentively, his compassionate eyes never leaving Li Wei's face. When Li Wei finished sharing his troubles, the Zen master smiled softly and began to speak. Lai Wei, my dear friend, relationships are like delicate flowers. To nurture them, we must follow certain golden rules, the Zen master exclaimed. As Li Wei leaned in, his eyes widened with curiosity. Rule number one, the Zen master continued, is to listen with compassion. Truly listen to those around you, not just with your ears, but with your heart. Let me share a story to illustrate this. Li Wei's eyes sparkled with anticipation as the Zen master began to weave a tale. Once there lived a husband and wife. The wife felt burdened by her worries, but never had the chance to voice them. The husband, preoccupied with his own thoughts, would only half-heartedly listen to her concerns. This led to a rift between them. Lai Wei listened intently, his heart absorbing every word. The Zen master concluded the story by saying, had the husband truly listened, with compassion in his heart, he would have realized the pain his wife carried. By being present and showing understanding, he could have strengthened their bond. Role number two, the Zen master continued, is to speak with kindness. Our words have great power, my friend. Let me share another story to enlighten you. As the Zen master spoke, Li Wei's mind became a canvas on which the story unfolded. He learned about a friend who had spoken harshly to another hurting their feelings deeply. But through sincere and kind words, the friend was able to mend the broken bond, bringing peace and joy back into their lives. As the Zen master concluded his teachings for the day, Li Wei felt a newfound hope sprouting within him. He realized the significance of these golden roles and how they could transform his relationships. He thanked the Zen master for his guidance, promising to apply these principles in his own life. Dear Seekers, if you enjoyed this chapter and the valuable lessons it holds, remember to hit that subscribe button. Together, let us continue on this journey of growth and discovery. In the peaceful village, Li Wei continued his journey towards self-discovery and personal growth. Filled with a newfound understanding of the golden rules of a good relationship, he eagerly returned to the Zen master for further teaching. The Zen master welcomed him with a warm smile, sensing the transformation taking place within Li Wei's heart. Now, my dear Li Wei, the Zen master began, let us explore the remaining golden rules that will guide you towards harmony in your relationship. Li Wei leaned in, ready to absorb the wisdom that lay ahead. The Zen master started with the third rule, act with empathy, my friend. Let me share another story to illustrate its significance. 
He went on to tell the tale of a farmer who noticed a neighbor struggling with a heavy load. Despite having little to spare, the farmer acted with empathy, offering help and easing the neighbor's burden. Through this act of kindness, their relationship blossomed, and together they thrive. They... Wee's heart swelled with understanding as he saw the value of empathy in fostering connection and building bridges between people. Next, the Zen master introduced the fourth rule, forgive with grace. He recounted a story about a woman who carried deep resentment towards her brother for past disagreements. But one day, she found it in her heart to forgive him, letting go of the pain that had kept them apart. Through the power of forgiveness, their relationship healed and both found peace within themselves. Listening to this tale, Lee Wei realized the weight that grudges and resentments held in his own relationship. He vowed to release the burden of anger and embrace forgiveness, knowing that it would lead to greater harmony and joy. Finally, the Zen master spoke of the fifth rule, love with openness. He shared an inspiring story about a father whose love for his estranged son never wavered. Through his unwavering love and acceptance, the father created a safe space for his son to find his way back home. Love, the Zen master emphasized, should be unconditional and free from judgment. As Li Wei absorbed the final golden rule, a sense of deep peace settled within him. He understood that by practicing love with openness, he could create a nurturing and supportive environment for his loved ones to thrive. With the teachings of the Zen master deeply ingrained in his heart, Li Wei returned to the village with a newfound purpose. The villagers noticed a change in his demeanor, witnessing the embodiment of the golden rules through his actions. Inspired by his transformation, they too embraced these teachings, igniting a positive ripple effect throughout the community. Dear seekers, as our story comes to a close, remember the wisdom of the golden rules. Listen with compassion, speak with kindness, act with empathy, forgive with grace, and love with openness. These simple yet profound principles have the power to transform not only your relationships, but also your own inner world. If you enjoyed this tale and the valuable lessons it holds, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Together, let us embark on a journey of growth, understanding, and harmony. As our tale comes to an end, dear seekers, let us reflect upon the precious teachings we have discovered. The golden rules of a good relationship, listening with compassion, speaking with kindness, acting with empathy, forgiving with grace, and loving with openness, hold the key to harmonious connections in our lives. Now, seekers, I pose a question to you. How can you apply these principles in your own life? Take a moment to contemplate this, and feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Remember, seekers, applying these teachings is not always easy. It requires practice, patience, and a willingness to grow. But the rewards are immeasurable. Stronger relationships, deeper understanding, and a more peaceful existence. If you enjoyed this story and found value in its moral lessons, I kindly ask you to show your support by liking this video. Your support encourages us to share more stories that inspire and transform. Until we meet again, seekers, may the golden rules guide your interactions and nurture the bonds that matter most. Keep seeking, keep growing, and may your journey be filled with love and joy.